Okay, so one of the new things we're starting is uh, we're going to ask a question before we get to the speaker and just kind of get some feedback from everybody present. So I'm going to start with Paul Griffith, um, and uh, I'm going to ask every one of you this question, so think on it for a minute or two. Um, and if you're not in the States, if you just, you can offer your opinion anyway. Um, I think John may be the only uh, fern we got here. Uh, <laughs> but... Would you be, Brooke Paul, start with you. Would you be in favor of your Grand Lodge, your state Grand Lodge, merging with your Prince Hall Grand Lodge? And why or why not? Well, <clears throat> Louisiana doesn't recognize Prince Hall yet. Okay. Well, assuming they did. Uh, nope, they don't. Uh, in fact, I think one of the resolutions is to recognize Prince Hall, just simply recognize them right. uh, at the uh, grand communication we have coming up. Uh, but we've got this other kink because we're Louisiana. We have a ancient and accepted Scottish rite. Yes. That's not Prince Hall. In fact, right. they were established before the Prince Hall first yep. established in Louisiana. <laughs> I'm familiar. So we with got that. more than we got more than one group <laughs> to uh, to just, recognize. Just take us. Prince. Is is the Supreme Council primarily uh, black members? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, looking at their webpage. Okay. Well, let's just assume for the sake of argument, you're like the rest of us, and you already recognize but, it. Would you be in favor but, of actually merging the two? Set aside the Supreme Council. They're kind of outside the framework here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it, uh, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. <laughs> okay. Brother Hughes, and now you're in England. You're, you're familiar, I'm sure, with Prince Hall and all like that. So it's kind of hard, but just imagine you had a body alongside the Grand Lodge England. I, I just wouldn't have any opinion about it at all. Okay. All right. Uh, Rooster, what's your take? Should the Grand Lodge of Virginia recognize the Prince Hall Grand, most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of Virginia? That's their full name. I mean, uh, merge with, like, literally merge, pull them all together, combine the Grand Lodge officers and all like that. Be one Grand Lodge. Well, uh, I have no problem. Mason's a Mason. It, uh, you know, we're all human beings. You know, <coughs> to me, you live together, you don't. Right. Okay. I, I have no problem. Okay. And again, I'm not talking about recognition, which we already have. I'm talking about literally combining the two, merging into a single thing. Brother Olivares, what do you think? And what Grand Lodge are you a member of? Um, Virginia now. Oh, you're Virginia. Okay, that's right. That's right. You're okay. It, it, it was uh, Florida. Up to oh, okay. Florida, and I recently uh, joined Warwick. Um. You know, it's funny you ask this question. Um, I'm currently in school and we're working on a project where we're doing a merger. And it is, uh, it's logistically, it's, I mean, it's easier said than done when you put together two entities. Um, right. it, 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 I, I would not be opposed to it. However, there will be a lot of challenges um, because you can't have two, um, you can't have two grandmasters. You can't have two of, so someone will have to step down. But exactly. if, uh, if we can figure it out, I would not be opposed to it. Okay. Brother Robert, what's your take? Well, I asked that question a few years ago when I went to Grand Lodge and the response was, well, we can't do it because both sides doesn't want to give up their grant, you know, whoever their grand line is and whatnot mm -hmm. and grand rights. I mean, I personally would not be opposed to it. I, you know, I still say, why can't we, if we're, if we're considered brotherly love, then what, you know, what's the most important thing we, what's one of the biggest things we could do. And that would be it. Now, yes, um, as everyone's brought up so far, there there's some people brought up. 
there's going to be some issues and it's not going to be something that you just say, Hey, we're going to do it. You're going to really have to do it because you've got people who have got to give up um, at, for lack of a better word. They're, they're fiefdoms, so to yes. speak. Excellent. They're going to have to, somebody's going to have to be gracious enough to say, Hey, I see the greater good of this, you know, and I'm willing to do this or whatever. Right. Um, it's definitely a complicated issue, but I would be for it. Brother Dungan. I, I would not be opposed to it, but uh, like it's already been said, it's, it's, it would be a lot of challenges. Uh, and and since, since we've recognized Prince Hall, uh, I know that in, in, in my area, I don't, I don't know even of a single visit that we've had from any of the Prince Hall Masons. Right. I know that some of us have visited, I never have, but there have been some of us who have visited Prince Hall Lodges, but uh, they, they have not uh, re reciprocated. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I think if it's gonna happen, I think it, it's gonna be a long ways down the road. Thank you. Brother Keith? Uh, I'm sorry, I lost my internet or something okay. for a few All right. seconds. Good to have you back. So the question is, yeah. Uh, should we, would you be in favor of our Grand Lodge merging with our Prince Hall Grand Lodge? Why or why not? And, oh, and not necessarily, not, and not necessarily I, the idea, I actually, no one would be opposed, but, you know, what would be the pros and cons, I guess, is what I'm looking for. You know, what would be a reason to do it or not do it? I just think it's morally the right thing to do, but okay. whether, it, wh whether it could happen or not, I don't know. Okay. You know, both of them are individual. They each, I guess, each Grand Lodge would have their own issues. And I often wonder, I think of uh, the old Negro baseball, you know, when they uh, started allowing blacks to come into major leagues, that killed Negro baseball. This is true. And a lot of players. And I wonder if that might happen similar in, in, with the, some of the Prince Hall Lodges. Right. The, the uh, A lot of good ball players who were, who were you know, first string or whatever you call them in, in, in the Negro leagues couldn't get positions in major league. And that's it. They, they kind of, you know, yeah, their careers were over. It's true. They, they couldn't play anymore because their leagues fell apart. That's a valid point. Cause you'd rather play in the major league baseball. I, I just, I just wonder that I'm not sure I, I'm correct in my feelings. So. Okay. No, that's good. I think we're all kind of on the same page. I was looking for more, uh, contrary opinions, but we all seem to be agreeing. But uh, Brother Alan Clark, good to have you join us, sir. In your rig. <laughs> um, we I'm just asking the question, everyone. Would you be in favor of your Grand Lodge merging, not just recognizing, but merging with your Prince Hall Grand Lodge? You probably can't hear us. Can you hear me, Brother Clark? Yes, you're on the headset instead okay. of... Uh... Speaker, All right. so. I'll, I'll restate the question, but we've kind of gotten the same answer from everyone, but I feel to be fair to ask everyone, would you be in favor of your Grand Lodge merging with Prince Hall Grand Lodge? I don't oppose it, but we know it'll never happen, and I'm Virginia just like you. Oh, okay. I can <laughs> assume that everybody's, everybody's from somewhere else, but lately we've been getting all Virginia brothers. <laughs> uh, Brother London, same question. Uh, hey, <laughs> I was suspecting that we'd be getting a fair bit of opposition from the other direction. The That's Prince probably true. not wanting to merge. Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, you cut out there. I heard you a little bit. You said we get opposition from the other direction. They want to be in favor. Just a suspicion. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, I mean, I, I try to ask these questions to get kind of different viewpoints and just kind of get more perspective. But honestly, I think we're all on the same page. I think I'm more, as Keith said, I'm morally in favor of it. I wish we had never had the split, but it predates us by, you know, 200 years. So it's not like any of us had anything to do with what happened originally. But I can see because every Prince Hall brother I've talked to is very proud of the history of their Grand Lodge, what they've accomplished, what their lodges have and all that. 
And yeah, on the one hand, you lose some of that identity. I mean, even though your lodge would continue in the new one and you'd have more lodges in a given area that you could visit, we'd have to restructure all the districts and all that. But yeah, the main point is how do you shuffle all of those grand officers fairly? You'd have to like flip a coin and say, okay, the current you know, Virginia grandmaster or the grand deputy grandmaster is going to be grandmaster next year. And the current deputy from Prince Hall Grand Lodge is going to be the grand senior warden. And you kind of interlock them, you know, but then you get about six guys at the end that are out of luck. And then realistically, if we're about, I think, two or three times their size in membership, is there a chance another former Prince Hall brother is going to get elected to Grand Lodge? Now, you would more than likely have, if the incoming de- grandmaster is from Prince Hall, he's going to put in somebody from Prince Hall, and maybe for years, you're going to have a back and forth, back and forth to keep it going. But I, I don't know. It, it would be a logistical nightmare. And I did hear one person once say, it's like, no, we don't want to merge with you because we've got more money, and we don't want it just to get lost. <laughs> Basically, We've managed to save more money than you, and you know we're just going to share that with you. So... Okay. That was an interesting question. I appreciate everybody. I really was hoping for more variety and opinions. We all seem pretty much agree. It's, it's doable. It's probably a good thing, but logistically it would probably never happen. It'd be too much to work out, but I don't know. I, I think, I think eventually we're going to get there, but it may take another 50 years. And honestly, as brother Dungan mentioned, I've only seen, I think a handful of times where, one of our lodges visited theirs and vice versa. It was Virginia Research in 2010 when it keep thereabouts. I was going to say it was in the, it was probably a little longer than that. It was when Doug Boynton, I believe, was master. And okay. I have to look that up around 2004, somewhere. That sounds there. about right. Okay. And I remember driving up for that and that was great. Um, we had, uh, I think the current, Prince Hall Grand Secretary and uh, one or two past Grand Masters and about 20 members. So they gave a presentation. So there's about 20 of them and about 20 some of us. They all sat together in one group and they gave a talk and talked about the history of Prince Hall. And the best part for me was at the end, they just had a question and answer session where we just asked questions of, you know, what anything you want to ask while we're here. And one of them stood up and said, yeah, I got to say, what is wrong with you all? I mean, you're you're in a sport coat. You've got this loud tie. You've got this over here. You've got all these buttons on your lapel. What is with you people? <laughs> and every one of them is in a black suit, white shirt, black tie. And that's their uniform. That's what they wear to lodge, period. You don't show up in a polo shirt to their lodge. You don't even show up in a sport coat. You will wear a black suit period. And we're like colorful as can be. You think about any lodge you go to, everybody's just, you know, we wear whatever we're wearing. We Most of us are in coat and tie, but we're all sorts of colorful. And the Prince Hall brothers are like, no, 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 that's not, <laughs> that's not how you do it. It was, it was such an eye opener to me because I never even thought of that, but it was so true. It's like well, Part of that has to do with being, they started as a military um, lodge, Mm -hmm. So they had the uniformity of what would be the British way of doing things. Yep. And maybe that continued. I think it has to do with discipline and has to do with um, respect for the organization you're in. And that's something worthy of another discussion is uh, how we should dress and lodge. Cause I get a lot of pushback online from people. It's like, why should I have to dress up for masonry? It's it's demanding too much of me to have to dress up for lodge. You're supposed to judge the internal and not the external. It's like, really? So asking you to dress up for your lodge is too much of an effort, but that's a whole other discussion. I appreciate everybody contributing here. Um, it's 1020. I guess we've got 10 people. We're not probably going to get any more here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to Brother Jonathan Oliveros, who will introduce himself uh, and uh, go ahead and give his talk on uh, how COVID is affecting the craft. 